GVK has won the mega 16,000 crore rupee contract for the Navi Mumbai airport, edging out GMR in the auction. This will be, in fact, the third airport for GVK in India after international airports in Mumbai and Bengaluru. Farah Bukwala now joins in with all the details. De details. Farah, thanks for joining in on the show. Of course, the big question is how will GVK be financing this and will they be able to overcome the debt problem to actually get the kind of finances that they will need to execute this project? What are you picking up? Well, I'll come to that in just a bit. But first up, yes, GVK has outbid GMR to secure the bid for the Navi Mumbai International Airport. And do remember that this was the final deadline to submit the financial bids for this project because the implementing authority, CITCO, had made it abundantly clear that it will not further extend the deadline for the submission of the bids after having already done it twice. Now, in this particular round, only two of the four qualified bidders bid for the project, so that is GVK and GMR. The other two, which is Mia Infrastructure, which is a joint venture between Tata Realty and Vinci Concessions of France, as well as uh, Zurich Airports and Hiran Hamdani Construction Consortium, did not bid for the project. Now, what I picked up from my sources is that GVK's bid stood at 12.6% of the projected gross revenue of the airport. That is the revenue that it would earn once it starts operating. And in the case of GMR, it stood at 10.44%, which means that GVK clearly outbid GMR. However, it is important to note that in either case, GVK did have the right of first refusal in this particular case. So it had a favoured status given the fact that it already operates the Mumbai International Airport. And according to the Airports Authority of India, if one airport operator has already developed an airport and a second airport were to come up within 150 kilometres of an existing airport, then that airport operator would have the right to match the bid of the highest bidder as long as it is within 10... as long as their bid is within 10%. So in either case, they had a favoured status. But yes, the important question is how are they going to achieve financial closure for this project, which is pegged at a total value of about 16,700 crore rupees, with a considerable upside for cost overruns as well, given the fact that there is a huge overhang of debt for GVK. The total debt, as on the 31st of March 2016, according to its uh, annual report, stands at a whopping 27,000 crore rupees. So that is a real key question. But otherwise, it is definitely a positive for GVK, which has been trying to bid for more projects. Also, do remember that for Sitco, this is a huge, huge. Uh, uh, this comes as a huge relief because it puts nearly more than a decade of back and forth. Uh, to an end on whether this project would see the light of the day. And they have on several occasions said that they do want to get the runway operational by 2019 and the first flight should take off by December 2019. Back to you.